Hi, I'm Prasad from AWS. And I'm Paul from Red Hat. And today we're here to talk about getting a proof of concept environment for ROSA environments for partners. So the first thing we have to do is look at the scope. To be successful, we need to have the right use case for the end customer. Things like maybe it's a migration, taking up uh, maybe a workload from OpenShift on-premise, migrating it to ROSA, maybe it's building a net new application, maybe it's DR and failover. Having a clearly defined use case is key. Then you have to look at the criteria that you're going to measure it against. So are we looking at the performance and response times, ease of use, how many tooling is available, how easy it is to scale up and down, for instance. Then. After that, we need to look at the roles and responsibilities. So who will be responsible from the customer side for implementing, running the POC, who from the partner side, who will provide support during the POC, things like that need to be clearly defined. Then we move across to the, to the duration, and this should not be any more than 30 days. We will not approve it, absolutely not. Customers do not need to spend that long evaluating. We want to have a very sharp and uh, clear use case and defined criteria, so 30 days should be more than enough. When it comes to this scope, I recommend working with our technical experts. We have what we call the Managed OpenShift Black Belts, who are very good at ROSA and Kubernetes in general. So they can help you define the success criteria and lock down the scope. So these are the technical experts on the Red Hat side. And of course, you've got access to the specialist container yeah. people on the AWS side as well. So after that, Prasad, what yeah. else do we have to look at? And, and building on that point, uh, in terms of from Paul, in terms of access to all the specialists, you need to have your sizing determined correctly, right? So because in the sizing space, you know, one is you've got to have your ROSA cluster size accurately sized as well as much as possible. I know that the this will vary from the production uh, workload uh, environment, but then you still have to get your POC cluster size pretty accurate possible because the ROSA cluster uh, is one thing, and then you have to have your compute uh, your compute as well uh, accurately sized as well. So these two things form a basis for your POC sizing as such. Okay, because so this is the POCs for the partner, we need to go to the AWS Partner Network, log in and register your co-cell. So go to the APN and put in a co-cell uh, request, and the key thing here is to set the status as tech validation. So that will alert us that we are looking at a POC and we need to issue credits there. We will validate all of this scoping and the sizing as well. Then it's time to get in touch with your partner account managers. From the Red Hat side, once the POC is approved, they will release what's known as a $0 offer, private offer, available through the marketplace or rather your um, AWS management console. So that's through AWS. Console. Now, what needs to be done from the AWS yeah. side? So, if you if you are a Red Hat partner, obviously, Paul, uh, they will be assigned a partner account manager, obviously, right? And similarly, if you are an AWS partner, you would be having an AWS partner account manager. Your partner account manager on the AWS side is going to talk about the compute layer, right? So, the, you you will get a zero dollar offer from Red Hat for the ROSA layer, but you need the compute to run it, right? So, the important thing is that. If you get ROSA at no charge and if you do not do this piece in terms of interacting with your AWS partner account manager, you're going to end up paying for your compute layer, which is your EC2. So it's absolutely important that you basically interlock between the two uh, teams to make sure that you've got a $0 commit on your ROSA POC and you're not paying anything for the compute layer. That gives you the, the right element of running a POC properly for your customer. So we've alluded to it. And I'm going to mention it one more time. You've got your free ROSA there or your $0 offer. You've got your credits for the EC2 compute. When you're running the POC, you need to monitor the consumption because if you exceed the credits, guess what? You are on the hook for the additional costs, whether it's on the ROSA side or it's on the EC2 side. So whatever you do, do not exceed the credits assigned for the POC. Correct. Correct. And and see, as I said, you know, compute is also is your credits, and that's very, very important. So, and then uh, once you get all the monitor the consumption and you start to run the POC, you got your thirty days term. You complete the POC. Basically, if in, in the compute when you complete it, use the metrics that are the measures of success that Paul talked about, and de deliver to that use case, deliver to that criteria that has been agreed upon with your customer. That's important. 
once you're delivered to that and everybody's happy, your customer is kind of satisfied with the outcomes, you basically move the whole thing to a production. And that's what we really are looking forward for our partners to, to jointly engage with Red Hat and AWS to deliver such a great service. And Paul, with that, I would like to thank you for explaining it so well. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Thank you.